Hey, welcome back to Better Than Yourself. Today on Better Than Yourself, I promised you I'd make coconut water more nutritious. And I thought you're saying, you're saying, what are you putting in it, John? I, we're doing this ourselves, we're, we're, nothing like that. It's not what I'm putting into the coconut water, it's what I'm taking out of the coconut water. I've actually, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've lost a little bit of weight um, in the past couple of months. I've been, been dieting, if you want to call it that. But what I've been doing is reducing the amount of sugar in my diet. When I have a product like this, well, the, you know, if the, you can buy at Costco, a, a box of nine here. Um, but for my coconut water, when I drink this, the first thing I do is take a look at it and say, okay, well, here, let's see here. I've got... Uh, Serving size is eight ounces. This is a four servings per container. Then scan down the list here. Total carbohydrates, 11, okay. Sugars, 10. That's a lot of sugar times four servings per container because I drink, you know, one of these at a time. Um, that's 40 milligrams of sugar. Sure, it's not a lot of sugar, but sugar adds up. What you need to do is just reduce your overall consumption of sugar in, you know, especially, you know, soda, candy, things like that that are obvious. But then even things where I've got a little bit of sugar, you know, natural fructose, but it's still sugar. I'm still, you know, I, my body still has to digest it, store it, burn it, do something with it, deal with it. I'd rather not take it in to begin with. So, what do I do? How do I get the sugar out? You know me, I ferment it. I ferment. How do you ferment coconut water? Well, you've seen me ferment coconut water. The, I just wanted to kind of reiterate how simple this process is. Watch the video up here about how to ferment coconut water, how to take a cavita and some beta coca and create yourself a mother. Create a, a continuous batch ongoing fermentation. In, in my case, I've just got my, my, my killer jar, my, uh, my killer jar kombucha kit here, which is a nice three liter jar with a little spout on the bottom. And as you can see, I've had this going for a while. I, you know, as I want a drink of something, if I want some coconut water, I just grab a cup of ice and uh, pour myself off some fermented coconut water. As the level of this kind of draws down, then, I, and I see it's getting low, grab a bottle of coconut water and then just pop it up. It's that simple. So, you know, I'm gonna leave this to ferment here for probably two, three days. You can leave it sitting on your counter for, I don't know, I've let it go for probably a week and it'll get a little sour. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. It will get sour, it'll get a little vinegary, but drink it down or Reduce the level down and dump it and just pour in a new one. I mean if you forget if you you know if you're not drinking a lot of coconut water that week you can um, just reprocess it. And once I've topped it up throw the lid back on and um, stick it back over here in the corner and I literally just keep it on the counter. You really don't have to do anything with it once it's established. And you'll see, um, kind of like your, your kombucha, I've got a, a, a coconut water scoby going on here. I've got, there's a couple little variances of it, but it looks just like, looks just like uh, a, a kombucha scoby, but it's it's the same thing. It's, it, it's cellulose, right? When you ferment, uh, fructose, when you ferment sugar in a process like this with with the, with the bacteria that is involved in this process, you'll get a little scoby. You can keep it and let it float. I just kind of ignore it. When it gets big, um, I'll pull it out of there. You don't really need it. You know, think about when we did the the initial creation of this the, this brew. Um, there was no scoby involved. There was literally a bottle of Cavita and a bottle of Coca Vitae. I mean, but, but the SCOBY is, a lot of people, I think people celebrate the SCOBY and they, you gotta have a good SCOBY, you gotta have a big thick SCOBY, you gotta keep a SCOBY hotel. I completely disagree. The SCOBY, the symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast is in the, the liquid, is in the, in our case, was that initial bottle of Kavita that we cultured. But that's, I mean, that, that's not the SCOBY. The SCOBY is the symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast is the beverage itself that we initially inoculated our, our coconut water with. So, you know, that you, the fact that you grow this kind of amorphous mass of cellulose is just, it's just kind of a byproduct. You know, you get increased amount of probiotics, you get a sour beverage, you get coconut water with less sugar in it, and you get a hunk of cellulose. It's plant material, it's what uh, plant stalks are made out of, is, is cellulose. 
um, this process exudes cellulose into this floating disc. So keep it if you like, fool your friends with it, whatever, but it, it's not important. What is important is having a good strong culture in your jar. You've got a good stable environment, about 72 degrees in here. Um, I don't always have this light on, so it's kind of dark back here in the corner. The sun doesn't really shine on this corner. If you find that three liters is too much and you're not drinking at all and it's getting too sour because it's taken you a week to drink all of it, use a smaller container. Put in half a bottle of Vita Coco. If you are going to go away, I've got a trip planned next month where I'm not going to be here. I don't know, maybe I'll take it with me because I have been enjoying it. But what I'll probably do is drink it down like I usually do, add my bottle of, of coconut water, and then stash the whole thing in the fridge for the couple of weeks that I'm going to be gone. No big deal. When I come home, take it out, leave it on the counter. Once it warms up, the bacteria and the yeast will get going on it again. And I'll have my continuous uh, probiotic beverage going for me on the counter. It, it, it's really that simple. So. If you have any questions about this project, leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I've been really loving all the new subscribers. Thank you guys. And I will uh, see you next time.